Appalachian Wireless has some of the best data rates in wireless on our plans, and not to mention an amazing deal on one of our hottest smartphones. But that's all the time I have to explain. See store for details. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. I'm not just, I'm next, I know I shot him. In Mingo Circuit Court Tuesday, Anthony Ariaga pleaded guilty to the murder last Memorial Day of former coal company executive Ben Hatfield at the Mountain View Memorial Gardens in Mingo County. Ariaga agreed to enter into a plea agreement with the Mingo County Prosecutor's Office and pleaded guilty to first-degree murder and robbery. During the plea process, Ariaga was required to give a statement of fact in the case. During his statement, he detailed the events leading to and following Hatfield's death, including the murder itself. He said Hatfield's murder was a spur-of-the-moment decision between he and Brandon Fitzpatrick, who is set to stand trial in Hatfield's death soon. Ariaga said the young men had been on a days-long meth, cocaine, and marijuana binge when they pulled into the cemetery, supposedly to visit Fitzpatrick's grandmother's grave. He said he and Fitzpatrick decided to steal Hatfield's car to sell it to a chop shop for cash. They agreed to kill Hatfield to prevent him from reporting the theft. How close were you at that time to Hatfield? Oh, about, about 10 feet. Okay. And was he standing or kneeling or was he front to you or back to you? His back was towards me because he was kneeling down. All right. And then what happened? I, just, I looked at Fish Badger. He said, do it. And he kept mouth and do it, do it. And uh, I don't know, I just... Uh, next time I know I shot him, I shot like two, three times or something, and then I seen, I seen Hatfield drop, and then, uh, where, where did he drop, where he was standing, or did he get close to Where he was standing. Was that where he, near where he was kneeling, or did he? Where he was kneeling, he, he stood up when, when he got hit, and then he fell. How far away from where he was kneeling did he fall? He, he fell, he just stood up and, and fell. Um, and Fitzpatrick, he ran in, he got in uh, my car drove off. And uh, half, half, half of him got up and ran. And at that time I just, uh, I started freaking out. The way, he, the way he was running, I thought, uh, being I was up for so long, I thought he was shooting back at me or something. And uh, I thought I heard people, like, I thought I heard police sirens and dogs and helicopters, so I, thought I just ran. Ariaga went on to describe making it back to his home in Ohio and attempting to go on the run when police arrived at his door. With Tuesday's plea, Ariaga could spend the rest of his life in prison. First degree murder, he'll be facing a life sentence, and we have recommended, pursuant to the terms of the plea agreement, that he receive an additional 40 years on the robbery. So a life sentence plus 40 years is what we've recommended for Mr. Ariaga. Mingo prosecuting attorney Jonathan Duke Jewell said Hatfield's murder rocked Mingo County and could have happened to anyone who happened to be at the cemetery that day. Just the uh, senselessness and, and the randomness is what's so shocking. I mean, it hit home to me personally because my mother is buried in that same cemetery, very close to where this took place. And it's not uncommon for me to be down there with my two young children. Anthony Ariaga will be sentenced next month in Mingo County Circuit Court. Brandon Fitzpatrick is set to stand trial beginning Thursday, but Jewell said pending motions could delay the start of the trial. He added, however, that Ariaga's statements Tuesday were made under oath and may be used against or for Fitzpatrick. I would imagine probably both sides uh, in the other trial will want to use uh, a transcript and the testimony from this hearing in that proceeding. Reporting from Williamson, Chris Anderson. EKB News.